So my trusty board had this thing for years, plain and simple. So got bead on there, but yeah. But I'll do a repair on the on the necklace. This is the string I use. That's my secret. That's all you get to see right there. I won't tell you what kind of brand it is, but that's my secret. Uh, those that know, they know. You can figure out, you can figure out. I won't deny or confirm. But yeah, so uh, just some of my classic pieces that I made over the years that I had. That's, I want to say like 2015, maybe. I'm trying to find a necklace. Of course, I got the the bag you see, but uh, it's a, a rosary I made. I'm trying to find a necklace that that a friend of mine confirmed that they would snatch it and wear it when I wasn't aware of what they were doing. So, yeah, as a little token, I guess they just had a birthday here the other day. I'm gonna restring it and I'm gonna go ahead and give it to them. So, yeah. So this is one of my favorite uh, necklaces that I made some years ago. Uh, so it's, it's got metal, stone, and it's like a, another type of metal. So it's like two different types of metal and beads in here. So basically, you know, like I said, I'm gonna restring it. I'm gonna lay everything on this board. Then I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut these and just take the string out of the board. On the board so I don't lose all the beads and keep the, uh, keep the pattern. And just restring everything. Plain and simple. So I just uh, clip this piece off. No, I clip that piece off. You can take the bees off. But what I usually do is I'll just, just pull the string through here and pull all the bees off. I have uh, nail clippers. No, I do not use these nail clippers for my hands, but I, I use these, I use scissors. So I got like a, you know how sometimes you go places and they give you like a kit so I use, just use the kit. Like I, I literally use this uh, file and file. So on these uh, these uh, beads and stuff down too. Got tweezers and scissors. So yeah, that's what I use it for. And I also have like a little wrench. And this might be like the only actual jewelry set tool that I have. Everything else just like stuff around the crib. So what I do is uh I do like the old fish net. So as we see wrap it around. Try to do this. caught that but I just pull it through and then I'll tighten it let's see try it and if I get out the picture of trying to get to focus more, but but anywho, and then what I usually do is I uh I put a bead on there, so I have a bead, string the bead.
Now, most people, they will cut this piece off. See, I don't. What I usually do is... Tighten this. I usually uh, string that extra piece. String the extra piece through the, through the bead. And that way I can get a tighter fit. Sometimes it depends on like what type of bead and how how tight I want the necklace will determine how close I go up with this. Sometimes I might go all the way to the end like that, but then you see you don't get to move it that much. And this one right here, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go just a little bit below it. So I can still see like where the knot is so I can move some. So that already dictates like if, I'm, if somebody's gonna ball the necklace up or they're just gonna hang it up and keep it moving. So it all determines like your length. You can also, some people might do it. We got a lot of string right here, a lot of play. I don't like to show that string. So like I said, I go right there till you can see like the little knot. Sometimes people might even glue right there. It is what it is. It works sometimes and sometimes it, it doesn't. It might eat away the string. It depends on what type of material you use. So like, yeah, I'm gonna leave just a little piece right there hanging out. And with this axis, what I would do is I'll put some beads. I'll put like another uh, bead right here, and I'm going to tie a knot. So what's, what's going to happen, I'm going to put another bead right here, and I'm going to tie a knot below the other bead right there, and that's going to keep the string hidden. So a second bead. And then I'll just tie a regular knot with the string. And that's just a little trick I do. People are wondering why I tie another knot right there. That's just that's just for my own security. So like the first knot is like a fish knot. And then the second one is like a security. So like if something happens, it's still it's still hooked on there. So that's just like it's just a backup knot. So it's like spreads the tension and the pressure. Not really proven, but that's what I've been doing for like the last. Once I started doing these beads, necklaces back in 2005. And I started doing a double knot like probably 2008 or 10, something like that. So yeah, and that's just from trial and error. So like, yeah, it just eases attention. And then yeah, just Keep stringing the bees. Now, we'll check it out at the end. Might even make some earrings if I can find some more matching bees.